Hey YouTubers, Mike Borders with the Mike Borders channel. Thank you for watching. If you are joining us from the previous couple of videos where we replaced our exhaust manifold in our jet ski, we also applied that RTV silicone. Glad to have you. It's now been 24 hours for that silicone to properly cure. Now it's time to hook it up to the garden hose and test for water leaks. Are you nervous? I am. No, you shouldn't be. If it's done properly, there should not be any leaks. Let's take a look. At the rear portion of the jet ski down below, here is your impeller housing area and inside here is where you insert and secure the garden hose into this little portion here. Garden hose is inserted and secure. From here we want to take off both front and rear seats. Seats are removed. Now we can see inside the hull and verify that there are no leaks while the water is entering the system and the engine is running. Something very, very important that needs to be pointed out for proper cooling of the engine, you have that drain line that water spits out at the tail end of the cooling system through the engine. Ours is in the front. Make sure when you start that engine and that water is on, that that water is coming out that drain port. Because in the event that it is not, turn your jet ski off immediately because it's not properly cooling. Last thing I want to point out, this exhaust manifold pipe itself is basically the same temperature as the current outside air temperature. And when you introduce that water from the garden hose, that water is going to be a lot colder than our current temperature. And when it enters into this pipe, this pipe will begin to sweat like a glass of ice water in a warm room. So do not be alarmed if you see sweat or water beads forming on this pipe. Our main concern and focus is down here by the clamp where we connected the upper manifold to the lower manifold and secured it with this clamp and then allowed 24 hours for that gasket maker to properly cure. Time to turn the water on. Prior to starting the engine, notice that it is not leaking from where we connected the hose. There are a few portions for the drain that are supposed to be leaking water. That's good. Coming up top, there is that line of water I was telling you about. Again, if that is not coming out, do not start your engine. Before starting the engine, we want to come inside the hull, verify every portion that we just worked on and replaced. Look for any leaks. Ours at this point was spraying out aggressively right down in that portion. As you saw in the previous video, that hole in our exhaust manifold. You can see the water coming through here. That's good. Coming to the back. Verify no water leaking anywhere. Water is full force going through the entire system. I can already feel this pipe sweating as you can see here. And pay extra attention to this entire radius around this clamp where the two pipes connect. Verify no leaks. And I'm going to let the water run with the engine off for at least five minutes. And just to verify no leaks prior to actually starting the engine. During this five minutes, I want to come to the opposite side and give you a view of the opposite side of the pipe. And again, just be patient. And during that five minutes of testing with the engine off, just make sure that there are no leaks anywhere in the entire water system. This pipe is sweating pretty good, as you can see here. Now it's time to grab the key. And we are going to let this engine run for about five to eight minutes. During that five to eight minutes, just be careful with the engine running. You don't want to stick your hands anywhere it shouldn't be in the hull. And just monitor any leaks. It's been 10 minutes of running and now I'm just going to take the key out and I got great news. We have no leaks. Now we are going to take the jet ski to the launch at the lake, launch the jet ski and get it up to full speed for a few minutes and verify no leaks after that. Turn off the water and unhook the hose.
All right, YouTubers, at this point, we got the jet ski in the water. And the reason why I want to show you this in the water is because we all know at the shop, all boat engines and jet ski engines will run differently in the shop than in the actual water. Different pressure changes in the actual water system. So that's why we're at the lake right now, getting it in. So what I want to do, I'm going to take the seats off and I'm going to show you the engine running with the seats off and show you that there's no leaks. All right, time to start the engine. We're away from the actual launch. And... Back at the launch and got the engine off and I'm verifying no leaks again be very careful if you run this engine for a period of time this will heat up and will be hot so be really careful no leaks under here from here I'm going to get it out on the lake and go full speed and really beat up on this area here and just verify no leaks at that point YouTubers, that's it. I hope the video helped. Again, if it's done properly and correctly, you should not have any leaks. Do us a favor, below the video, you will see that thumbs up icon. Click on that, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you do that, every video that we upload, you will be notified. You will be able to stay up to date with us, and that will be awesome. Thanks again. Let's go have fun.